Okay, I'm gonna arc weld again using an E6013 332nd size arc welding rod. And uh, I'm gonna weld this together, these two pieces of a uh, 1 16th of an inch thick mild steel square tubing. And I'm using the Harbor Freight Tools weld machine set at 45 amps DC current, DC electrode positive. So, let's see what happens. This is E6013, 332nd size mild steel arc welding rod. And it's like shallow penetration, doesn't penetrate very deep, not unless you have the amps turned up high, and not unless you have the amps turned up far on the weld machine. So let me set this foam down in here. Let's see. Okay. So I guess what I'll do with this anchor is turn this this way. Now this is thin steel and I'm using low amps on it. And even that might even be too much for this type of steel. see let me put my eye thing on I must tack it first wait a minute All right, here we go. This, this steel is easy to destroy. One tack. All right. You gotta get another one very quickly because this the steel is very easy to warp. It's very thin and very, very easy to destroy. Anytime you weld on thin steel, low amps. You got to use low amps or you will destroy that thin steel. Okay. I'm going to go right through here in the flat position. You got to move fast on this because this is thin and it heats up quick. One side. I can hear it cracking and popping like. Okay. Side two. Oops. Let me let me fix this a second. It's kind of falling down. I am welding. For what? Are you supposed to be here? Yeah, I have permission. Good for whom? Mike. Mike, uh... Pastor. Pastor? Yeah. Uh, he's right here. Yeah. Tell Mike to come here a minute. He might not want to look at that. Well, no.
oxygen leaking out of that thing anywhere. There ain't a lot. That don't work off oxygen. I know. I mean, but out of these, these heat pumps and things. You got All right, well, just lay aside. That's mine. It's okay. All right. Okay, had a little interruption there, no problem, it's over with. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you. Actually, I missed this side right here, so I'm going to... Hold on. Actually, I missed this side right here, so i got to finish this. Had a little interruption there. No problem. It happens. Some wandering person comes up and walks up on you and wants to know what you're doing. No problem, no worries. All right, I'm gonna finish this. E6013, 332nd size rod, 45 amps welding on mild steel square tubing that is 1 16th of an inch thick. Orange, baby, orange. And there it is. Let me get this a minute. Let's have a better look at this. And there it is. Kind of sloppy right there, but that is penetrated. Doesn't matter if it's pretty or not, it's the important thing is that it's penetrated. Forty five lamps. DC current, DC electrode positive, 45 amps, 1 16th of an inch thick, mild steel square tubing. And the 
flat welded this square tubing. It's one sixteenth of an inch thick in the flat position. And you had to go a little fast on this because this thin steel cannot handle a lot of heat. It will destroy this thin steel. I am yet to weld aluminum. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to make a video of welding aluminum here soon within the next month or so. Um, try and break that I don't think you're going to break that that easy okay